It was around 10 p.m. when I was working in one of my uncle's medical shop. I was cursing myself for working there in that festive season when all of my friends were enjoying there. The assistant who used to work in my uncle's medical store has gone to his village to enjoy with his family as well. So I have to do all my work alone, right from opening to closing. So I was just uh, doing my work in closing the shop, keeping all things in proper position. So suddenly, one of my friends, Ruman, who is very close to me, came there. And he came in a hurry and told me something that has made me go out of my mind. That is, Meghna's marriage has been fixed and her engagement is tomorrow. Meghna was my girlfriend in college, my first love, that has taught me everything which I have thought. And listening to those words, my mind, everything went blank. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know what Ruman was saying. I was just sitting there silently thinking about her. Ruman realized this and just for consoling me, he said, leave it here. She's, she was just the first girl. There are so many uh, waiting for you. So I will just go and bring something for us. You just relax there. And he went there to bring something for us eat. Probably the most important thing at that time was the alcohol and some <laughs> stuff to eat. So uh, I was just sitting there silently in her thoughts and the time was around 11 p.m. and things were getting worse for me. So I thought just uh, pack up things as quickly as I can and go home. So I was doing, just doing my work and I suddenly heard someone coming towards my shop in a hurry. When I turned around, I saw a girl running towards my shop. And she was in a so much hurry that she didn't even think of breathing after running so much heavily. And she, without giving any kind of care, she was telling, I need 50 sleeping pills. Don't worry, it's not for suicide. It's for my grandmother. She's unable to sleep. Uh, I, I didn't bring any kind of pre prescri uh, prescription. Sorry. So I will give it tomorrow. And she was saying blah, blah, everything. I just silently took out two sleeping pills and gave it to her saying, these two are enough for her to sleep tonight. Tomorrow, I will give you the rest when you bring your grandmother along with her prescription. So I, I just con uh, I continued my work. And after that, that girl, she just gave me a serious kind of look. And after a while, she said, I need 50 condoms, chocolate flavor. For that, you don't need any kind of prescription, right? And everything I was thinking just gone like anything. And I was like, what the hell is happening over here? After a pause, she just burst out into laughter. It was at that moment I realized that the girl was beautiful, beautiful than Meghana, and her smile was just awesome. So uh, after laughing, she just said, and don't worry, it was, I was just joking. So don't be so serious, it doesn't suit you. And she left there taking those two pills. I stood there smiling, and I realized that she didn't give me the money. So I asked her, where is my money for the sleeping pills? She said, uh, I will give it to you when I come into your dreams tonight. And she went, uh, she went in her way. Ruman, who just came there with two bottles of beer and some stuff to eat, as I expected, he was confused about what was happening and asked me, who is that girl and why is she not giving you the money? Now, I was not in the mood to explain him that she don't need to give any kind of money. Her smile was enough to pay all the debts. And I just took my bike and left there saying, alcohol is injurious to health. So uh, we don't know when someone from some unknown place comes you know, into our lives to refill our fearless hearts, to give us the boost, the acceleration for our stop, stop life that one person is enough. Thank you.